welcome scholars. Today we will present our paper, Rexup, I Reason, I Extract, I Update, with a structured computational reasoning for visual question answering task. We're all from the University of Sydney, Natural Language Processing Group. For more details, the code can be found as follows. First, visual question answering VQA is one of the most popular vision and language tasks. Based on the given image and a natural language question about the image, the VQA task is to provide an accurate natural language answer. You can see this image with this cute little Harry Potter and Hedwig, followed by the question, what color is the animal on the boy's arm? In order to produce the answer white, the machine can focus on the detected object animal and boy from the image side, which can be aligned with the word color, animal, boy, and arm from the textual question side. The basic idea of VQA is this, really simple. But well, the current VQA trend are not that basic at all. Let's see the VQA research trends with different data set overview. The first VQA was introduced in 2015 with photorealistic images and simple questions. Then Clever data set introduced a bit more complicated computational QA pattern, which require a strong logical reasoning, like asking what color is the cube to the right of the red cylinders. In 2019, GQA finally introduced the one with photorealistic images and computational questions, and this problem is the current VQA field focus on, which requires strong semantic reasoning and visual richness of real-world images. Then, can we solve this problem with the existing VQA models? The existing VQA models can be classified into two main streams, vision-based and cotension-based. Vision based is to combine the image and text features into joint embedding using concat or summation. Co-attention based is to learn textual attention for the question and the visual attention for the images. But none of them can successfully solve this photorealistic images and computational question combined task. This is because it ignores the importance of the dense interaction and the semantic reasoning of multimodality, vision and language. We now decided to move away from the classical attention and traditional vision network and apply two of our new solution idea. First, we would like to find the way to extract the structured information from photorealistic image which can be easily aligned with the textual question. Then, the scene graph would be the solution, which shows the textual abstraction of image, including object and relations between objects. Moreover, it can be easily aligned with the textual question words, like milkshake, fries, and trays, that can be easily aligned with both image by scene graph and questions. Now we found the way to easily align and join those multimodality input. Then what is the best way to deal with this computational data set, which require deep reasoning? So we propose a strong and deep reasoning and integration model using three reason, extract, and update gates which is possible to have step-by-step -step reasoning process and taking ensure and guide each step. We propose two main components for our BQA model. First, a scene graph based object relation detection in complicated photorealistic images, as well as a deep multimodality integration and reasoning solution using region, extract and update gates and super diagonal vision attention networks. With our proposed model, 
the VQA prediction performance is extremely higher than the current state of the art in validation and test set in GQA. More testing results, including ablation and parameter testing, will be shared in later detailed evaluation section. Our Rexa with the structured scene graph embedding and deep reasoning method can visualize how the reasoning process works. In order to show the better insight into the reasoning ability of our model, we extract and visualize the linguistic and visualize attention weights that our model competes at each reasoning step. At the first reasoning step, the model focuses on objects, man's hand, and head. During the second and third step, linguistic attention focus on wearing and visual attention are heavily on man's shirt and pants. So we can see that our model can successfully capture the most important semantic words from the questions and detecting relevant object from the image for answer prediction. From now on, we'll go through more details about our deep reasoning and integration model RECSUP, region, extract, and update cell. The RECSUP network contains two parallel branches, object feature oriented and scene graph oriented. Each branch has a sequence of RECSUP cells, and each cell operates for one reasoning step and consists of region gate, extract gate, and update gate. First, let's have a look at the details of the region gate. At each regioning step, the region gate in each Rexop cell identifies the most important words in the textual questions and generates a new regioning state for extract gate and update gate. Secondly, the current region state will be fed into the extract gate and guide the extract gate to capture the most important image base object in the knowledge base. The knowledge base here can be object features in the images or extracted scene graph based on each two Rexel branches. For more stronger and deeper integration of question-based region gate and image and scene graph based extract gate, we apply super diagonal fusion. Super diagonal fusion projects two vectors into one vector with D dimension through the projection tensor, which will be decomposed into three different matrices during calculation. In order to decrease the computational cost while boosting a stronger interaction between input vectors. Finally, the update gate will memorize the attended information and generate the memory state. In order to reduce redundant reasoning step for short textual questions, we apply the sigmoid function on the previous memory state and the region state. So I remind you that we have two branches, image object oriented and scene graph oriented. So the final memory state of two branches are concatenated together as an ultimate memory state for VQA prediction. In order to test our model performance, we compare our model to the diverse state-of-art models on the validation and test dev sets of GQA. The validation set provides pre-annotated scene graph but the test dev set does not. So for test dev set, we use the neuromotive model to predict the relation between objects and generate scene graph from the image. The quality of the generated scene graph are not really good as the pre-annotated scene graph in the validation set, so it leads to lower performance on the test dev set. However, our models still achieve way better than the state-of-the-art performance with 92% on validation and 73% on test dev set. We also conducted the ablation study to examine the contribution of each component. First, object-oriented knowledge branch, OKB. 
Sin Graph Oriented Knowledge Branch SGKB and Super Diagonal Fusion SD to our deep reasoning model RexUp. Overall, we found that integrating object-oriented scene graph features is very crucial in achieving better VQA performance. Using only OKB branch causes a significant performance drop around 30% in the validation and 16% in the test dev set. This significant decrease proves that the importance of the scene graph, which shows the semantic information of object relation structure from the image. Additionally, applying the super diagonal fusion is another key point of our model's success in GQA. We compared the model with super diagonal fusion and with the simple element-wise multiplication. The result shows that using element-wise multiplication causes a drop. 3% on the validation set and around 1% on the test dev set. This shows that the concrete interaction between image feature and question feature by super diagonal fusion contributes to the VQA performance. The sequences of Rexup cell aims to have the sequential reasoning steps for the final answer prediction. The three gates reason, extract, and update gates in each rex of cell are designed to follow questions computational structures and extract the relevant information from the knowledge base at each reasoning step. So this is our assumption. To reach the ultimate answer, a few reasoning steps should be taken and less number of cells are not enough to extract relevant knowledge based information especially the case with longer length computational questions. In order to verify this assumption, we have conducted experiment to examine the model performance with different numbers of rex of cells in both branches. We also found some interesting VQA prediction cases with our model. The predicted result is correct even though it's different from the ground truth answer in the data set. First, look at the case one. The question is, what is the person to the left of the surfboard wearing? Our model had a high visual attention score to wetsuit in image. When words person and wearing in the textual questions are attended. The prediction result is wetsuit which is as correct as the ground truth shoe, considering the given image and questions. Similar to this, in the second image of case one, both white bus and red bus are specially on the right of garage bin. Our model captures both buses, but assign more attention to the red bus that is more obvious on the picture and predicts no, which is also a correct answer to the question. In addition to this, we found that sometimes our model prediction is relatively more accurate than the annotated answer in the data set. For example, in the first image of the case 2, the pen, as a small area surrounded by the fence to keep animal inside, is more accurate than the annotated answer yard. Likewise, the second image the bed and quilt are actually in different shape, but both in white color, which makes our prediction result is correct and the ground truth answer can be incorrect. In conclusion, our Rex of Cell worked well in both capturing step-by-step -step reasoning process and detecting a complex object relationship in photorealistic image and achieve the state-of-art performance on the GQA dataset, which has the deep reasoning process and also the complex photorealistic images. And finally, we proved the importance of the structured and computational relationship of objects in VQA tasks. Please find our reference as follows. So this is our research work. For more details, please have a look at the paper. 
Thanks for watching and if you have any question, please come to our website usitnlp.info or send an email to our corresponding author. Thank you.